Hello, hello. So yesterday in one of my tech space, I was talking about learning in public. Uh, that might be one of the fastest way uh, to get good with something. So that's going to be me learning Python in public. So I have a feature I'm working on, and that's basically being able as a user to find something on an e-commerce website, copy the URL, and share that URL for validation. On the other side, we have to be able to verify the images and the price. So I have an NX workspace and my first thing was to be able to have, and I was like, okay, I'm going to use Python to go and script uh, the, the, the web page. So I have an NX workspace and I created like um, a Python project here. So the project's called Seems Light and we have a Seems Light Pi. And inside of here, I have a script pie. So uh, know that I'm not a Python developer. So this is uh, uh, don't be uh, don't be scared about the code. <laughs> but the organization here basically um, we have a main file, and we're using uncode from Python to as as you, as you can see on the website here, we do have some special characters with the French accents and stuff. So I, at the first attempt, I was not able to get what I wanted, but then some research told me that to use Uncode. So with Uncode, <clears throat> I'm able to take um, the URL as an argument. And then basically in my product details, and this is like just court organization here where like the product details is going to go and we have a product info that is uh, getting uh, the images the product uh, we can extract the product name and we can accept the product price so for the images uh, that's the one I'm going to kind of show a little we're using the beautiful soup um, content uh, uh, library just to be able to parse the HTML and here we are just like going ahead looking at some special classes in Amazon and then doing that and then at the same time too we are making sure that we have a big image here okay um, so this is hard coded but we can always um, make that a little more dynamic and that should give us the, the, the images. And that's the same thing we're doing with like the extracts price. And then the same thing we're doing with like uh, the get content from URL. So for the get content from URL, most websites are going to be uh, heavily uh, JavaScript based. So we're using Selenium here. Uh, you can see like most of our import is Selenium based. So we're using Selenium here to get uh, the user agent uh, placed and everything, but we do to wait. So here I had like a 30 second wait. I think I'm going to just put it down to 10. Now the connection to Express, we have an Express server. So if you go back to the architecture here, we have the Seams Light Pi, and then we do have a server and that server is in Express. So if I open the main TS, in the server side and we are in an NX workspace which makes it very nice to have everything in one workspace. You see that we have our typical Express server and for the scrape URL here we're having a post that we are just sending like URL as a parameter in the body and then basically we are spawning uh, the Python uh, process here and then this is how like we're getting something back. So now to test all of that um, of course, we do have an Angular um, uh, front-end client, but before getting to the client uh, for Angular and stuff, we're just going to go and test uh, this, uh, this setup. So we have Postman here. And what we're going to do, this is going to be a post request. Let's go back and grab the URL. So that's probably what the user would do, just grab the URL. And let's go back to Postman. And uh, so first, the <laughs> well, the API um, here is going to be a local host, yeah, 333. Three, three. So when we run it from NX, when we do NX serve, we get local host 333. Three. And then the API is going to be scrape, uh, API script URL. So if we go back here, our post is looking for API script underscore URL. Okay. 
So we have that. But now we're going to be passing like uh, the body here and that's going to be JSON. So let's go ahead and just do that and then put the URL in here. And let's see, let's paste it. And then as you see, when we pasted the special characters here are not like how we copied it, but you remember we have uncode in there that is going to help us. So technically, I think that's all we need. We have a post, we have a body here, and then we're sending in like JSON, JSON data. So um, actually, we can change this and say we're sending JSON data right here. Okay, now let's send it. Mm-hmm. And uh, that is in real time here. And boom, you see now we get the response. All the images have been changed um, to US 600. Uh, the, the, usually that's just like um, to make sure that we have big images. We do have um, the name, which is great. For some reason, we did not get the price. But you can see these are the building blocks. Let me let us just make sure at least we got the right image. So uh, let me copy this. Let me copy this. Let's go back to the browser and let's paste it. And then boom, we have like the um, the first image that we wanted you know with this setup so for some reason the price did not come um we will like uh, debug that and see why we did not get the price at all but the idea now is going to be to build a card that's going to be a validation process um for the for the customer to see that okay that's the image uh that's what i'm looking for that's the right price and then of course the service we're working on like uh, will add some other stuff to it but yeah pretty quickly uh, we are able to do some cool stuff with uh, the beautiful soup library um, and selenium here we probably gonna go with like scrapey uh, for some more advanced stuff uh, but yeah I'll keep you posted I'll be learning uh, this Python thing um, connecting it to my Express and angular like in public so if you have questions suggestion and um, please let me know i talk to you soon have a great day now